Welcome everyone to Steam at Home Episode 7. Back in Episode 4, we learned a bit about how the coding app Lightbot works, and then used the app to solve hidden codes to unlock locks in a digital escape room. In this episode, we are doing the sequel, Coding Escape Room Number 2. If you don't remember how the clues from Lightbot work, you should go back and watch Episode 4 again for instructions on how to figure out the codes for the lock. I received some feedback from the first coding escape room that some people felt that the robot moved too quickly. So in this video, I have slowed Lightbot down even more to help you on your escape quest. Also, pay attention to the blocks of code as Lightbot moves. Notice that each piece of code quickly flashes white when Lightbot is doing that piece of code. This is helpful to figure out the mystery boxes. Watch that again. This time without the red boxes. Pay attention to the white flashes. Once again, you will find a link in the comment section below to a Google form that will act as our digital escape room. Click on the link and then pick which lock you want to solve first. This time, when you unlock a lock with the clues from the Lightbot videos, you will be faced with another item to unlock. This next lock will require you to figure out other clues that have been hidden within previous episodes of Steam at Home. So read all the information carefully and try to be a good detective to figure out the solution to each clue. Eventually, you will gain enough information to unlock the final lock and escape. Now here are the clues to the first five locks in the escape room. Now it's time to get to work, Steam Detectives. Follow the clues, crack the codes, and escape. Have fun, and as always, we'll see you next episode.